Hello, 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 everybody. This is Evie. Got so much things to discuss. Sunshine here today. We have a lot of new dolls coming out um, in the next probably, what, six months or so. And most of them are probably coming out in the next three months or so, leading up into the Christmas season, you know. Um, so before we begin, I just want to say hello. How are you guys doing, Dolly Tribe? I hope you are well. I hope you are happy. I hope you are prosperous. Um, I just want to say the following um, conversation here will be my personal opinion. So let's go. First, starting off here, we have the Misfits by Integrity Toys. And we have... Mary Stormer Phillips, and I believe we have Jetta Burns dolls here with this. Um, Integrity has been doing a wonderful job with the Jim and the Holograms dolls. Uh, they are so detailed. They look just like the characters. They're very beautiful. Um, it's just the best quality around, really, when you think about dolls. And I love these dolls. This is Mary Stormer Phillips from the Gem and the Holograms cartoon from back in the day. Um, I used to love this cartoon. Uh, she is a very beautiful doll here made by Integrity. She has the beautiful blue hair, um, the crazy, I don't know, canary yellow guitar. Um, I think she has a flower in her hair. All the colors in her outfit, the way they just made it click together is gorgeous with the purple and the orange tones and things. Um, her boots are lit. Uh, she even has a nice belt on. As you know, Integrity are the ones that know all of the business about details and making them look very realistic. Um, Stormer uh, is a very sweet character on the show. Stormer was also that girl that had the inner conflict um, being pulled by pizzazz for the most part or being good and, you know, being nice to the holograms and Jim and the holograms and all of that. Facially, she's beautiful. Integrity never fails with the faces on their dolls. The makeup is beautiful and vibrant and really does look like the character from the cartoon and all that. It's very energetic. It just pulls you in. Her earrings look great. Um, I think they're going uh, to retail as a set, I believe, for about $240 or $260. Um, if you're in the W Club and you know more than I do, please uh, correct me in the comments below. But this really is a beautiful doll. They did fantastic, and I wish I could get this doll. Before I go any further, I do want to let you know that the pictures that I grabbed are from Papusile Malay's site. She's up there in the upper left-hand corner if you don't know about her already. But these are where I get my photos from, most of them. So let's talk about Jetta. Oh my God, I love me some Jetta Burns. I just do. I love how bad she was in the cartoon. Uh, she's the full definition of a bad gal. <laughs> She's a full definition of it. Um, I love that raven hair. I'm obsessed with dolls and people who have this kind of hair. It's just beautiful to me. The raven, the darkness in it. I just love it. Um, they got her face right too. I believe they captured Jetta's essence very well. Uh, she's just a bad girl and she schemes and she has to do so in order to impress pizzazz and all of that. Um, she always puffed up her background, things like that. And she had a true hatred for Gemini holograms. And I believe they c captured this perfectly in this doll. Um, I love they got her skin tone right. The facial markings, the makeup, um, the eyebrows. They got it all right. I just am in love with Jetta. If I was a bad girl, this is the bad girl I would be. I would be Jetta Burns. I love her. I love her. They gave her that red jacket, which pops with that raven hair. Um, they gave her, uh, I believe she has a choker. They gave her a black bustier underneath the red jacket. They gave her a beautiful brown looking belt with like a gold collar. Then they gave her these jeans. I don't know if this is like giraffe prints or something. Um, brown and green, it looks like. I love that. I love that print. I love it with the red. 
Um, they just don't go wrong. I wish Mattel would step up to this. I really would. They also gave her some really great boots to match her belt. Um, high heel boots and they have the real laces on them. Everything you can tell is finished and well done. I really, really love this doll. I wish I could get her too. Per usual, Integrity's great packaging. Look at this colorful packaging that they're going to be using for these Gem and the Hologram dolls. Uh, Jetta and Mary Stormer Phillips are not the only one, but they make really, really great packaging, very colorful, and it really does capture the essence of these dolls. Now let's jump over to Barbie. We have the Holiday Barbie Playline 2021 dolls. Um, they have really cute red shoes. They have a cute little clutch. And they kind of have like this candy color red. It's like kind of a muted red. Um, but this is a holiday dress. It has candy canes and, you know, Christmas ornaments on it. It's really cute. They have like the one strap dress with a little bow on the top. Uh, we have the Caucasian girl and the African American. The AA doll has the Mbili face mold. Um, this is probably the one that I'd purchase if I see her in store. Um, I'm not really sure until I see her in person. Um, she does come with earrings. Um, the makeup scheme they gave her, the face up, is, you know, pretty cute. They always just give like this just little um, holiday cocktail party vibe with these dolls. These are the Holiday 2021 Barbie Signature Dolls, and I have to say that I am loving these dolls. I already have the AA one, and I'll be doing a video on that one soon, but the one that I really want is the Kira, the Kira uh, face mold one that has the medium skin tone there. She is gorgeous. She's beautiful. Um, I really like these dolls. I love the just silver and white, I guess, color on them. Um, and the bodice there being looking like it's gilded or something like that. Um, the shoes are kind of like Cinderella type shoes. They're kind of clear with sparkles in them. And I just love this. I love this scheme for the holiday Barbies this year is really nice um it's very flouncy and i love this little puff sleeves uh, the little draped sleeves on the doll and i like the jewelry it's just very simple let's jump over now to the naomi osaka doll she is a tennis player that represents the united states that is both japanese and haitian um, she is gorgeous. This doll uses the crystal face sculpt to, um, embody Naomi Osaka. Um, they have like her beauty marks correct. Um, I love the makeup that they went with this doll, her face up. She has cute little pearl like earrings in her ear. Her hair is fabulous and she has this cute little white visor on. Um, it's just a beautiful doll. I'm crazy about the hair and Naomi is just super talented. Um, this is Naomi Osaka's packaging. Um, it's very simplistic. It's Barbie's signature. So it's going to include like a doll stand. She is a made to move doll. Um, I think she's likened to her skin tone is likened to uh, made to move yellow top or either made to move the newest yoga dolls the one with the purple and the blue i believe um so that's what she's liking to she's here posing with all her tennis gear um it's very open and inviting to a person looking for a doll um so she's going to get that and then based on her being inspiring women and all of that she does um now i believe they have her kind of being a spokesperson for mental health in that field. Um, so Naomi Osaka is doing her thing. And I think that she will inspire young girls everywhere. And that if you like collecting Barbies, you should get this. Now, Mattel has come out with a Barbie signature doll that is um, supposed to be like Elvis Presley. Um, I have no interest in this doll whatsoever. I'm just going to tell you that um, I'm not into Elvis. Um, I think she looks cute or whatever, but 
she's just not looking very good in my opinion not enough for me to buy this doll i don't know how much this doll is retailing i'm assuming about 60 dollars or so um, for this elvis presley doll if you're an elvis fan all good to you but i just don't want this doll Now we're going on to the Barbie style doll that just came out. Um, if you liked it, great. This is a pass for me. $100 for this doll. Um, the pieces are cute, but I don't know what's up with that yellow piece. I don't like that. They look like Little House on the Prairie to me. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm not down with it. All the pieces in it, the doll itself, I'm just not feeling it. And I'm sorry that I'm not feeling it. I wish I was. I'm not feeling this doll. I'm not crazy about the goddess face mold like that. Um, there's some nice pieces in there and it looks like they did a good job. But for $100, and you guys know me, I'm currently not working. So this is just an easy pass for me. Um, but good luck to you guys that like it. Now we are on to another Barbie signature doll. This is the Lucy Lucille Ball doll. And I love redhead dolls. I love Lucy. Seriously, I would watch the shows when I was growing up with my grandma and my auntie and everyone. We would just sit there and laugh and look at um and look at this, you know, uh, her show. I love this doll. I love the dress. I love how they have her hair. I always thought Lucy Lucille Ball was very beautiful. Um, so I've always wanted one of her dolls. I do not have one of the dolls, but I would definitely pay whatever it is they want to charge for this Lucy doll. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am a Lucy fan, so I would definitely buy this doll. Now, I don't know what the, you know, what they're advertising her as is it an anniversary lucille ball doll or what it is i don't know but i definitely have to have this doll i love the dress I, they even painted her fingers and and i'm sure she got some cute shoes on i just love this doll oh lord the barbie fashionistas oh my goodness um you guys know i'm starting to have this little feeling about the fashionistas where i kind of love them i kind of hate them but it looked like with this version of barbie fashionistas that mattel is trying to keep me in the spending game you know um i love this new group of fashionistas i really do um if you don't i'm sorry but i love these um especially girl with the purple hair the kira the one with the blonde afro with the tie-dye outfit i'm just tired of giving some of these they giving some of these dolls pajama outfits like i don't want my oh excuse me i don't want my dolls to be having pajama looking outfits in a line called fashion oh excuse me fashionistas i don't know why i keep having these hiccup things but um a lot of these look very fancy and very cute and i'm for it i just I want the hair quality to be better. So I'm kind of at this point where I don't know what I'm going to do. Am I going to get the fashionistas or am I not? Because I'm trying to be more selective in all of this. So I don't know how this is going to go. But I do know that I'll need to see them in person before I will even purchase them. I just need to know that, you know, that they're having some decent, um, some decent quality with the hair and with the clothes. I more so want it with the hair more than anything. But I'm loving that a lot of them are wearing dresses and they're having heels or wearing heels. Um, I think they should do that more. Ooh, we looky here. We got some beautiful fashionistas right here. This one on the left, I'm calling her Rogue because she reminds me of Rogue from X-Men. The hair looks like Rogue. I'm just saying. So I'm going to be buying this doll just because of that alone. That's just the truth. But I do like her face up. I think she's the Carl face mold. Um, she does have race car check skirt and then a flaming flames, you know, shirt. Um, I think with everything else being kind of uh, muted or neutral colors, her top and her skirt really pop on her. I do like it, how they uh, mix that together. And then let's look at the girl on the right. She is gorgeous with her blonde afro and her blonde baby hairs drawn on. Um, I love her face mold. It's either a new face mold or either it's the, it appears to look to me as the Barbie Life in a Dream House Nikki face mold. Um, I don't like her outfit. It looks like pajamas, but I guess all dolls need pajamas. Um, she looks like she comes with a watch accessory. Her face up is flawless on her. 
and i don't know she appears to be a tall doll and then the doll on the right my rogue um she looks like she's a curvy one and either way these two are a must have um i just hope that rogue's hair is not that poly Prophenol or whatever it's called, probably propylene or whatever hair. I just dis, dis, really dislike that hair. Oh my goodness, look at these two right here. Both looking like they're Asian dolls. The girl on the left has beautiful brunette hair. Her face up is really cute. I think her dress is a little too much for me. All the floral print and everything, but you know, it's, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I really like the doll itself, so I believe I will be getting this doll just because of her face alone. Because that's what I look at when I'm choosing dolls. I like their faces. The next one is the girl with the purple hair. She has a Kira face sculpt. Her earrings are cute. Her dress is cute. Everything is cute about this doll, so I will be getting this doll too. Um, so much for trying to be selective, huh? Now we're moving over to another Mattel line, which is the Skelector monster high collector series um i currently do not have any of the collector series sadly enough i just could not afford them but you know such as life and adulting and all of that these beetlejuice dolls are everything i wish i could have the beetlejuice dolls i love this set it's wonderful beetlejuice was one of my favorite movies growing up and it's just wonderful. I'm glad they did this for all of you Beetlejuice fans that are not poor. <laughs> you can have these dolls. They're absolutely wonderful. Whoever came up with this is the outfits, the dolls, the face sculpts, Monster Heist Collector. It's just nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong with this whatsoever except I've seen some people's reviews and it looked like they cheaped out some Mattel. For this to be like a, an adult collector series, this is terrible. I did say that they're terrible, but let me also explain. Um, if you've seen any of the reviews on this, especially, I think, was it um, the Doll Circle? Her um, review of these dolls, um, I think Beetlejuice hair is, you know, that probably propylene hair. I am totally against that hair. I'm sorry. Um, the shoes were wonderful on these dolls, though. The shoes were everything. Yeah, I guess maybe that's where they put all their budget in the shoes. But also, the fabrics that they used, I think, could have been better. I just really do. Um, for it to be a, a collector series, I think they should, you know, do better on that. Now, I know they're you know knowing that a lot of people are not going to take them out the box but even getting still just upon just a general inspection it just does not look right um so mattel needs to do better on this collector series in my opinion um i like it and everything it just shouldn't be as much as it is it shouldn't be so costly now on to another line from mattel barbie extra I don't know which number this doll is, but I'm going to tell you I have a very big problem with this doll. Um, the picture on the left is the first initial picture of what this doll was supposed to look like. And then the one on the right is the one that we're going to end up getting. I'm sorry, I'm for the picture on the left. I just am. Um, it looks like it's the same doll, like the same face up and the same face sculpt, but, um, this doll on the left has long hair. I was really hoping this doll was going to have long hair as well. I don't know if the accessories that they chose or whatever, uh, made it to where they couldn't make her hair long. I just don't know. I, I, I don't understand the decisions that are being made at Mattel. And it looks like the hair that's going to be on the doll that we're actually going to get is going to be that probably propylene hair or whatever it's called. The hair I don't like. The one on the left looks like she has like saran or some sort of very good quality nylon hair. And that's what I was hoping for. I know like she has like a shaved side and all that that's going to be flocked. But still, it could have been long. So I like the one on the left and I really don't know why they changed it. I really, I'm just not going to be getting this doll, I don't think. I'm sorry. Like, my my taste has soured on this doll, so, yeah. My, oh my, these are the Barbie Convention 2021 
convention dolls. I've been crying because I did not sign up for the convention this year. And now I'm going to miss out on some spectacular dolls. Both of these versions are absolutely stunning. <laughs> if I could say that in my Juno Birch voice. Absolutely stunning. Um, they are gorgeous. They got a Miami Vice vibe to them, but they're still very gorgeous. Um, this little set teen or whatever is not my, you know, regular style or what have you, but... You know, it's cute. I like that the AA girl has the yellow on because I'm a fan of yellow. Um, now, the males wearing the more feminine colors, I have no problem with. Um, it's a style. It's a thing that people are doing. And anyway, if you like these colors as a man, you should be able to wear them without any reproach. I think these dolls are called power couples. And believe me, they are a power couple. Um, I don't get the vibe that they're dating, although they may be. And if they are good, if they're just really cool power couple friends, then I guess that's cool too. Um, I love the vibe that they're giving off. They're very chill and they're kind of like, we're fabulous and, you know, we don't care about anybody else. We're going to live our life and enjoy our life and mind our business. So I really do like these dolls and the color scheme is fabulous. Here's our girl Barb's and she is actually rocking the Claudette face sculpt for the second time in a skin tone similar to this. Um, she's very beautiful. They have her hair styled lovely and blonde with uh, long, you know, curls and that sort of thing. They gave her stunning blue eyes. I love how they did her eyebrows. She has very cute face up. You know, with the makeup scheme and all of that. Her earrings are cute. The blue suits her with her blonde hair itself. And she just looks absolutely stunning. She looks fabulous. Um, she looks runway ready. She looks like, you know, a romantic dream to me. Um, just beautiful and perfect as Barbie in that Claudette face mold. As we all know, is everything. Um, I just don't have much more to say about her. She's fantastic. I'm glad that you guys are getting her. This is the Ken from the Power Couple from the Caucasian set. He's wearing a purple suit. He has brunette hair. Um, I believe this is going to be the Tate face sculpt right here, which is his second time being used, which is fabulous. He is handsome. He has green eyes. He's wearing earrings and he just looks fierce and fabulous and just super, super handsome. Um... I like the tape face sculpt. It has dimples and he's just a sweetie. Here's our AA Ken. He has the Texas A&M uh, Ken AA face mold. Um, it's just modified a bit. Um, this guy is very handsome. He's wearing a pink suit. Um, he's just looking fabulous and wonderful. I'm glad they gave this face mold another go. Um, he's in a darker skin tone. And I have been seeing people rebody him on the Barbie looks. Um, I think number six, the John Ken with the, the dark skin one with the braids. This is the AA doll. Um, I'm not really sure which face mold this is. I was thinking it was the mermaid face mold, but I don't believe that it is. Um, I believe it's one of those more rarer doll face molds, um, some models, something um, that I'm not really familiar with. But this doll is very cute. She has twists. Um, her makeup scheme, her face up is gorgeous. Um, she's wearing yellow and it really does complement the makeup and her skin tone. Um, she does look like she's kind of concerned about something though, but she's still very beautiful and very gorgeous. Her twists are fairly long and I really like this doll. Jumping back to the Barbie fashionistas, I believe these guys are going to be fashionistas. Um, the one on the left is the new guy to the group. Um, I don't know if this is a new face mold or an existing one. Um, I'm still not that well versed in Ken face sculpts but he is super gorgeous and then we have a dark skin guy that has hip hoodies um face uh face mold i believe um their outfits are cool i really don't like that camo and that color on the guy on the right i just don't like that um i'm not in love with hawaiian shirts either so neither one of these guys have my preferred uh fashion choices for males but um you know I'm definitely getting the guy on the left because of his new face mold, though. 
This is the AA um, Barbie Fashionist uh, Ken doll close-up. Um, he has the hip hoodie face sculpt, and he's looking really cute in this darker skin tone with the darker hair. Um, I like him a lot. I'm on the fence of whether or not I'll get him. Um, I'm going to look at him um, in person to determine that. However, um, I do like his face up. Um, I just don't like his outfit whatsoever, but he seems like a cool doll. So I don't know. I just need to see him in person. Now, this Ken doll right here, he is super duper handsome. I don't know what it is, but he is very handsome. He's very cute. I like his skin tone. I like his hair color. I like his face up. He's just very cute. I will be getting him based on his face sculpt alone. I know a lot of you guys don't play like that, but um, that's my thing is face sculpts anyway. So, I will be getting him just purely based on that um i think it's a new face mold i don't know if it's an existing one um he's just super cute um a lot of people have been putting him on instagram that's how i even found out about him because he is gorgeous so this guy once he gets in um on stock i know that he's going to be on everyone's shelves pretty much this one is a must-have from the fashionistas collection i don't know if these are coming out in 2022 or if they're coming out within the next few months i want to say that they're probably not going to come out until the beginning of the year but what do i know well you guys thank you for dipping in the dollmosphere with me today talking about upcoming doll news things of that sort um i really have fun doing it maybe i will do another in the future if you guys um seem to like that or what have you uh, but i did want to just pitch in and give my two cents on the upcoming dolls and if you can like comment share and subscribe uh continue being beautiful wonderful um and just keeping up excellence in your life and do not forget to keep that sunshine in your life. Bye-bye.